Welcome back everyone, Garland here, bringing you another Neverwinter video. And today's video discussion is going to be one of the fastest ways to accumulate gold. So this is a gold farming video. So what are you going to need? Well, you're going to need a level tune that can access the workshop. So we're going to run through a small tutorial on steps on exactly how you're going to do this. So for instance, I have a level 60. Now you're going to want as many inventory spaces as you can. This guy obviously has uh, his inventory is full. But even if you only have one bag, so if it's a brand new tune and you only have the adventure satchel, as long as you have available inventory is what you're looking for. So let's go ahead and accept the quest here. And then once you accept the quest, uh, go ahead and run the workshop tutorial. All right, guys, and when you start doing your workshop tutorial, when you come to this part about picking the first profession, go ahead and talk to your retainer, and then it's going to ask you what profession you want to start with. Now, keep in mind, this character should only be used for gold farming. You're going to be using his morale every single day just for gold farming. Now, I like to do jewel crafting. I, I believe it's the best method right now that we currently know about. Uh, however, the other professions do have gold um, farming capabilities as well. There is some items in the other professions that will yield you gold as well. But for right now, for purposes of this video, I always go jewel crafting. So go ahead, pick jewel crafting. You'll be able to go ahead and turn this in. And then continue down the tutorial path. Moving right along, the next step is once you're doing the tutorial, you're going to look at the applications. So this is a big uh, part of this. So let's go ahead and we're going to look at the applications. So this is a jeweler that they're going to give you. Now right off the bat, uh, it's plus 50 commission. This is horrible. What you're looking for is negative commission. Speed doesn't matter. Proficiency and focus don't matter for this method. What you're solely going to be looking for is the commission line. Now this one is plus 50%. So unfortunately, yes, this sucks. Um, and we'll see what the next one is. You're going to get two free ones right off the bat. Okay, now here we go. Here's a negative 25% commission. So although this isn't the best to make the most amount of money that you can make, uh, this is at least a step in the right direction. It is negative 25%. So you're going to be making more gold overall. But the one that you want in particular is the one that I'll show you later in the video that's negative 75% commission. So go ahead and accept these and then of course you have your adventurers that you will accept as well. So let's move along the lines to the next step. Alright guys, and when you are done with the workshop tutorial, after you've collected the items out of your box and everything, you'll now officially be able to start your gold farm. Now me personally, I like to invest 20 gold right off the bat per character. However, you could probably start with 10 gold if you really want to. That's completely up to you. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we're going to be doing. Now if you followed every step up until this point, you should be level 4 jewel crafting right now. And you'll be able to start making these bone necklaces. Now the bone necklaces take two animal bones and one cotton yarn. Now you should have gotten some of these for free. You should have gotten 40 animal bone and 10 cotton yard for free. However, this isn't going to be enough to level us to where we need to be. So you will have to invest some gold off the bat. Keep in mind this is costing us 69 uh, commission because we have a negative 25%. If you had negative 75%, it would be even lower. So your overall objective right now is you need to get your jewel crafting to level 21. So you should have 395 morale on the day because you should have only spent 5 morale doing the tutorial quest. So we're going to try to get to level 21. So go ahead and start clicking your buttons. You're going to be failing a little bit at first. As you can see, it goes uh, pretty quickly for the most part. Now you're going to notice we ran out of materials already. 
So we're already out of cotton yarn and we have a little more animal bone left. Now, depending on how much you want to buy, that's completely up to you. Having VIP is extremely important. This way you can summon the profession vendor right to you. If you don't have VIP, you're going to have to manually leave your workshop and go and stock up on materials. So let's go down here and look at the cotton yarn, which is right here. We're just going to buy uh, 40 of these and then we will buy another 40 animal bone. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this to level 21. You'll notice I am felling a good bit. It's because your artisan is not leveled up just yet. You can simply hold down the button to spam as well. We're up to level 14. Now, if you want, once you get to level 20, you can go to the Fang Necklace. Well, you need to get to level 21. Now, as you can see, we already ran out of Animal Bone again, and we still need Cotton Yarn, and we're a little, we're about a quarter of the way into level 14. Let's go ahead and buy some more materials. We're going to play it safe just for the purposes of the video. We'll just go uh, 50 and uh, 90. Go ahead and continue. Now, depending on how much you felled on the day and what your success ratio is, you can get to level 20, but that's on a very, very good day. Uh, most people are going to fell a bunch of times, which is going to lead you to about like where we are, level 17, level 18, level 19. You're not going to be able to get to level 20 uh, probably in one day, unfortunately. So you have to return tomorrow and do this process again until you get to level 21. We're completely out of morale for the day, so we cannot continue. We got to level 17, and you need to get to level 21. Go ahead and summon your vendor again. And then simply sell all of these necklaces just to get them out of your inventory. Keep in mind that we started with 20 gold, and we have already turned a profit. We, we made seven gold just by leveling so far. Now we're going to hop over to one of my advanced tunes so I can show you guys the rest of the overall process and what you need to do. All right, guys, and here we are on my tune that has been doing this method uh, for a while now. So, like I said, your objective is if you're on your crafting table, go ahead and make the bone necklaces all the way up until level 21. Now for the longest time we were going for the fang necklaces and just farming this non-stop. However, community men member Ginger Dragon uh, gave us some information that actually will increase our gold output by another 30%. So originally we were making these fang necklaces that are level 20 and the materials unfortunately they cost too much. The beast fangs you need two of them and they're not a lot. The linen yarn is where the price was coming in and the linen yarn I believe is like nine silver each and that adds up a lot. So we have moved on now to the heart's horn ring and you'll notice you need one deer antler and one sandstone welt stone. Now I already have these materials obviously but if you go ahead and summon your vendor and we will compare the prices. So here is the sandstone welt stone. So even if you wanted to buy you know a stack of these uh, it cost 11 gold. Now you can do this task 80 times a day. Each task costs 5 morale. You have 400 morale total. That's a total of 80 rings that you're going to be making. 
So, this is almost, you know, more than a week's worth of materials. You only need one per creation. So we have one silver and 15 copper for one welt stone. Now if we go down to the deer antler. Just momentarily here is that linen yarn. Like I said, it's nine silver for one linen yarn. So if we go down to the deer antler, which is one silver, 31 copper. So let's just round it. Let's just say it costs two silver per deer antler and two silver per sandstone. This method is a lot cheaper than the fang necklace, which we originally thought. So once you're ready, we'll say it's a new day. I said I'd show you guys the best in slot for this, which is this guy right here. High Z Zelo main or whatever you say that. I don't know. But you're going to notice it is negative 75% commission. So if you were lucky enough to get this during your tutorial, that's awesome. Now, let's say you didn't get any negative commissions on your tutorial. Well, now you have a decision to make whether or not you want to even make that tune a gold farmer or if you want to wait uh, you have to wait for the applications to come in which is a very long process and you know you have to see if it's even a jeweler because there is other professions that can come in as applications so if if you have a negative one i would stick with the negative one until this one shows up if you're lucky enough to get this one right off the bat congratulations um if you don't get a negative commission one, then maybe you should think about doing it on another tune entirely until you find the appropriate artisans. So let's go ahead and toss this in. Now also, when you get to level 20, uh, you'll be able to upgrade to the Iron Fowl. So here's the Iron Fowl that you can use at level 20, which you can either exchange for for free if you go to buy new assets and then you can scroll down all the way to the Iron Fowl and you can either buy it with your credits. Now, if you're a brand new player coming into the game and you have none of these credits, you're either gonna have to buy this um, off the auction house or and you know buy one from a friend because you can make these from professions as well. So it costs 250 uh, material credits or uh, asset credits rather, and you're gonna wanna get one of those. That way you will always have a 100% ratio. As you can see, we do have a 100% ratio, so we are never going to fail this. Uh, we also have 100% focus, which is irrelevant. Making a plus one version of this ring compared to a normal version of the ring, it doesn't matter. The plus one does not sell higher. So let's look at our overall investment. So let's just say we rounded up and said one deer antler is worth two silver and one welt stone is worth two silver. So we have four silver here and our commission is only 79 copper. So we have a total of investment of let's just round it up and say, you know, three to four silver. Now I can't give you guys overall profit margins because everyone's going to be different depending on what artisan you're going to be using. So let's go ahead and spam through these. We'll just simply just go ahead and spam these uh, so I can get my moral. Now, like I said, this is a very easy process. It's not very time consuming. Uh, you should be able to make anywhere between 30 to 35 gold per character profit margin. Now you should do this on anywhere from five to 10 to 20 different characters every single day. So you're looking at, let's just assume you do this on 10 characters a day. That's going to be anywhere from 300 gold to 350 gold every single day. Now, whether or not you need that gold yourself, maybe you're a master crafter and you need the gold, or you can simply sell the gold on the auction house. So our inventory is filled. And each one of these rings is going to sell for 34 silver. So you can see the potential of this. Uh, our total investment was only, let's just um, round up and say, three to four silver. Even if we spent four silver, we're gaining 30 silver back. So you can do this indefinitely. Uh, and like I said, you can make anywhere from 30 to 35 gold a day per character. 
If you do it on 10 characters, you're going to get anywhere from 300 gold to 350 gold. You can see my gold on this character right now. Uh, that's all uh, generated from this method. That's 700 and 785 gold this character has made uh, by doing this method. So let's go ahead and sell all these. As you can see, they're 34 silver each. And you can see my gold just goes up. So... I can't really explain it any easier than that, guys. You're basically turning 4 silver uh, into 34 silver by doing this method. So just go ahead and follow the steps. Like I said, you're going to be starting out making the bone necklaces until you get to level 1, or I'm sorry, level 21 in your jewel crafting. Once you get to level 21 jewel crafting, you're going to start making the hearts horn rings. Now, depending on the artisan you have, that's up to you. And then you are going to want to get the level 20 version of the foul. That way you have a 100% ratio. So that is going to wrap it up for the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. It is uh, currently the most profitable and easiest way to generate gold in the game that we have found so far. Maybe you have a different method or a different suggestion. Please uh, leave me a comment below. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you thumbs it up or thumbs it down. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, if you're new here or you're a returning person and you're still not subscribed, hey, hit that subscribe button, man. It really helps me out. So that is going to end the video today, guys. Let's see what our total gold is now. So we started at 7, 785 and we went to 812. Not too shabby. Keep note that it is going to be the best to do this on a double professions event. Obviously, you'll be able to double everything. So make sure you're keeping an eye on the calendar and good luck farming, guys. We'll see you in the next video.